Good morning! Yeah, it's Monday morning. I went to bed last night with all my projects put together. Everything like, woohoo! 4.45 this morning, my phone rings. Yeah, 4.45. Anyway, my sister who was here yesterday, you saw her in the video yesterday, um, her and her hubby were headed back to Missouri and they stayed the night with my oldest daughter, Neve, and so Neve took them to the airport. And so at 4.45, I get a call and she said, when I was pulling into my apartment, um, my car, power steering, she said it started to steer hard power steering right and um, she's been having issues with her battery light coming on but I have not been able to duplicate the problem every time I have it it's not on um, the charging system checks out fine so when she called last night or this morning um, it's got to be a belt so I'm assuming her serpentine belt is trashed maybe her tensioner I don't know I'll take a look at it but anyway mama had to get up and take her to work today um, and I've got her car so so close to not being ha not having anything to work on so close anyway um workout's done i'm gonna go get some coffee and then i guess i'm gonna come out here and fix a car so you just never know what's gonna happen right <laughs> see you in a few all right the surprise project is done the hhr is ready to go um the serpentine belt was pretty trashed and i think it was just slipping and that's why she would be like hey my alternator light came on and every time i would check it the alternator was charging there was no light nothing was wrong but when she came home from the airport this morning and she pulled into her driveway and she said she lost power steering um and her battery light came on belt so i've replaced the belt that's the one thing that connects all of those right and uh everything looks to be good to go we'll have to see after she drives it for a little bit but uh, i think that was the problem i think that was the issue and uh we got her done so oh yeah there's actually some teeth missing now that i look at that belt a little better so that project's done now i can actually get to like regular work it never ends what a lucky kid she is right all she has to do is call us at 4.45, she gets a ride to work, and then my shop opens up and fixes her car for like 20 bucks. I mean, come on, how lucky can you be? I told Angie's parents this morning, I said, you guys were lucky. At 21, she was married to me, and we never had to call you and be like, my car's not working. So, they're lucky. Neve, you hearing this? Find you somebody that can fix your car. Fall in love with them. Save daddy some work. Anyway, back to work. All right guys, so I guess it's take care of daughter day. So my youngest, Baby Badger, she comes to my house and says, hey dad, I wanna take the bike for a few days. So the bike's been sitting in the garage. By the way, this is my 2004 B-Rod. Anyway, but she's ridden all over the country. So the bike's been sitting in the garage for weeks. So I'm like, all right, well, we gotta get it out, check the tires, check the oil. Battery's a little low, it'll charge up as she rides it, no big deal. Um, and then she's like, well, I think I wanna go on Route 66 with you guys this summer. So we were not expecting her to do that because she's got college and work, but she seems to think that she can manage to do this. So, I mean, she went on the world record poker run. We'll see if she can do this too. But anyway, get ready to check the oil on it and then send her down the road. But I guess it's take care of daughter day. The vase car is fixed. Now we've got her on the bike. The things you do as a daddy. She tried to hijack Sunny's camera and um, gonna make Des nervous. But she came to get the bike and she's gonna take it for a few days. They already know this. Oh. Because I already did the video. <laughs> So what happens when somebody grabs my camera comes running out the door like she knows what's going on. <laughs> Love you. Wow, what a day. You guys saw it from fixing Nerdy Badger's car to getting the V-Rod out for Dez. And then Dez saying, you know what? I think I'm going to go on Route 66. So, I mean, that kind of changes our plans altogether as well, because uh, once she gets out to Route 66, 
um, in California, we were going to go up the coast and into Sturgis. So she's going to have to take an extended vacation. I mean, like three or four weeks. Usually we're gone for about three months. So now we're trying to figure out if we will go to Sturgis um, and then come back to Florida for, we got like a three week gap there. Usually we're running around like Missouri and that area. Um, hanging out with friends and family. So we may come back with Des, drop Des off, and then stay home for two, three weeks, then shoot back to Lake of the Ozarks for Bike Fest. Then there's BFE, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. There's the Stubborn America Rally with um, you know Adam Sandoval and all. So um, this changes everything. Uh, I hate change. Um, but I mean, at least we were early enough in the season that we can we can work it out pretty quickly, pretty easily. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, we love having Desi ride with us. She is she's put some miles on that bike. Um, we got with seventeen thousand. I want to say she's put seventeen thousand on it. So um, I mean, seventeen thousand part time rider in what two years. Uh, she's definitely ridden it more than me and she loves to bike so she like I said she took it back to her home for like four or five days she, <coughs> she doesn't do that a whole lot because she needs her car but um, she's gonna have it for four or five days and uh, she'll get to enjoy it and we will start planning um, this summer with uh, her being with us most of the time so that should be fun anyway guys thanks for hanging out today we will see you tomorrow